revolutionize your electric journey. The Biden administration just pumped $623 million to unleash 7,500 new EV charging ports across 22 states, powering President Joe Biden's quest for 500,000 nationwide by 2030. With electric vehicle sales soaring and infrastructure catching up, this electrifying narrative promises a future of convenience and sustainability. Join the charge. The road to 500,000 chargers is accelerating, and the story of a nation electrified awaits. Even with a big infusion of federal money in recent years, charging your electric car in public still isn't the easiest thing to do. The Biden administration has taken some heat for this situation as of late, but today it announced some welcome news for EV drivers everywhere. The Biden administration is injecting an additional $623 million in grants, aimed at putting 7,500 more EV charging ports in the ground across 22 states and Puerto Rico. Yes, you heard it right. This is a significant step towards creating a more accessible and convenient charging infrastructure for all of us electric car enthusiasts. The fund comes from the Charging and Fueling Infrastructure Discretionary Grant Program, a game-changer in alternative fueling stations. The Federal Highway Administration now has a whopping $2.5 billion to spend on these stations, including those sleek EV chargers in local communities and along highways. According to U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg said, funding will help ensure that EV chargers are accessible reliable, and convenient for American drivers, while creating jobs in charger manufacturing, installation, and maintenance for American workers. The 2021 Infrastructure Law authorized $7.5 billion to build 500,000 publicly accessible chargers by 2030, which is the goal of President Joe Biden. Providing charging ports is part of Biden's effort to encourage drivers to switch from gasoline-powered cars and trucks that contribute to global warming. It is imperative that more charging infrastructure be built, as well as more robust and reliable stations, in order to achieve this goal. However, the network has not progressed as quickly as expected. There are only two states that have opened charging stations under the National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Program, Ohio and New York. Yep, the momentum is building. And speaking of momentum, since Biden took office in 2021, electric vehicle sales have more than quadrupled, reaching an impressive 1 million last year. But that's not all the number of publicly available charging ports has soared by nearly 70% to 168,426. Now, those are numbers worth celebrating. It's a testament to the growing popularity of electric vehicles and the commitment to a greener future. According to White House Climate Advisor, Ali Zaid said, We are on an accelerating trajectory to meet and exceed the President's goal to hit 500,000 chargers and build that nationwide backbone. While there is a lot of disagreement about this, there is no doubt that range anxiety about the lack of charging stations is one of the key impediments to purchasing an EV. More than 80% of respondents stated that a lack of charging stations prevented them from purchasing an electric vehicle. In addition, 7 out of 10 respondents said they would not purchase an EV because it takes too long to charge and the batteries aren't ready yet. However, Buttigieg and other administration officials dismissed those concerns and said electric vehicles were the future of the auto industry. Former President Donald Trump as well as several lawmakers and presidential candidates from the Republican Party, have blasted EVs as impractical, expensive cars that Democrats would force on American consumers. Both EV buyers and Biden's re-election chances would benefit from more progress made by the White House on charging in 2024. Don't miss the electrifying updates. Subscribe now for more green energy stories and a future on the fast track. Hit that subscribe button and let's roll into a sustainable tomorrow.